Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here, coming to you from Santa Clarita, California, at the base, the start of the Iron Horse Trailhead that I will be taking a short hike down momentarily. But if you look off in the distance, you will see the rides, the attractions from Six Flags Magic Mountain. And I wanna clear up some misconceptions today in this video on one of the filming locations from the 1987 classic, The Lost Boys. The majority of the internet assumes that the bridge that they dangled from, that iconic scene from the movie, was up in Santa Cruz next to the boardwalk where the pretty good chunk of the exteriors were shot. But it's not way up there in Northern California. It's down here in SoCal. Let's go check it out. Join me. Shall you? Good thing I'm out here during the daylight hours because at nightfall, those vampires run rampant and they, they might break into your vehicle. To give a general overview of where I am, in case you decide to make the pilgrimage, here's a map. You have the freeway, Interstate 5, running northbound right to Valencia over here is Canyon Country and Newhall. And I am currently standing in that spot. You are here and the bridge is just off in the distance in eye shot. There it is through the shrubbery. You can see it, at least the top portion. Cry little sister. Thou shalt not fall. Come, come do your brother. I like, I like to sing the song. Puts me in the mood. Whoa, is that a worm from the, the noodle box? It looks like, no, you know what? No, it's made out of metal. Whoa, it's hot. That's, the sun has definitely coated that with some heat. There's not a whole heck of a lot of people riding their bikes or walking up and down the trail from one end to the other. No one wants to battle that summer heat, but I'd rather deal with this sun than nightfall because that's when the guys with the fangs come out. The blood-sucking Brady Bunch. That's them. Kiefer and crew. And that guy from Bill and Ted. I did not come properly prepared. I need to find something like a makeshift wooden stake to drive through the heart. I don't know, that's, that's really flimsy. That's not gonna penetrate the flesh. Enough dilly-dallying. Let's cross this thing. Holy cow. This is it. The date stamp at the top says 1898. It's no longer a, a railroad bridge. Locomotives do not cross this. It's now just used for hiking and bike riding. And they have placed on either side of the path a protective fence to keep people from recreating those shots where they jumped off and hung from the bottom of this thing. Yes! Not gonna lie. This is pretty freaking cool. How awesome is this? As best I can tell, Michael was standing here watching the other four leap off the side. It all still looks the same. Even the angle of each of these metal pieces going up there and even over here in that fashion could be seen in the screenshot. The interesting thing is if you look closely right over here, even this metal pole with the wiring was there when they filmed it. And look closely in the background on that hill, those telephone poles can be seen very faintly, but they're back there. And while it is quite a ways down to the dry riverbed, the thought of them actually jumping off of this point is pretty scary. Now they built something upward to protect the actors so they didn't have to leap too far. 
and it does seem very steep, but in the movie, it seems a heck of a lot taller and farther drop because they added in some smoke and fog elements below the bridge. A few close-up shots were filmed on a sound stage that basically took this, recreated it, you know, just close-up versions inside a building. So you can see those intercut into the scene as well. After climbing down that ladder and walking along the scaffolding, shows a better angle of the height from the ground to the bottom of the structure. Yeah, not a good idea to hang from that in real life, especially with no water down there. The only thing to catch you would be the hard surface of the earth floor. I see that look in your eyes, Michael. Don't even think about it. You're not one of them. You're not one of them. Stay up here. Don't go over the, that, don't go up. Oh, he's going over anyway, he, he didn't listen to me. In all honesty, the best angle would be at the bottom of that basin. I'm gonna climb down there and try to get a better view. I made it. The further down I go, the higher it certainly looks. Yeah, that's up there. Pay close attention to where they're hanging and look at the way the metal underneath the bridge is situated. Closer attention to that piece that looks like an arrow pointing up at kind of something similar to a wrench interlocking the pieces of the bridge and kind of stretches along that way. So just view this, commit this to memory for a second because right there is what you were just looking at. As I get a little closer, you will see what I am referring to underneath the bridge, the way those cross beams are, that X. Not only does it mark the spot, but also where they were hanging. Now look at the top left of your screen. There's that wrench type piece I was trying to describe. Not a good description, but kind of understand what I'm saying. And there's that arrow. See? The tip of the metal arrow. So that's where they were. Camera was right here pointing upward like I am. And the train, real train, went above them and tried to jar them loose from their grips. That's freaking cool. It's been removed since production, but they added a couple other skinnier bars for them to place their hands on and they added harnesses just to keep them from falling because you don't want the five actors or most likely these were stuntmen you don't want anyone on the cast or crew falling down to the ground level from way up there that would not be good Very clever camera angles, and probably another good reason to have all that fog. Because you don't want that amusement park in the background. Kind of ruins the illusion. But it's back there in real life. It's back there, so is the freeway. See all the traffic going by. Looks like the Frog Brothers have been down here always coming up with ingenuitive new ways to catch those creatures of the evening. I've never seen this one before, but I guess a noose could do the trick. And it's tied all the way up top on the bridge. Go get them, guys. I trust you. I don't know what I was so worried about. They're obviously not sleeping anywhere in this close proximity. I haven't seen any barking protective horror hounds. I think that's how you know where they could be slumbering. 
Because the dogs protect them. Rabid, dangerous dogs. I don't hear any barking. Let's do a full walkthrough. The traffic, sounds in the background, the bugs making their noises and the wind. Okay, I'm gonna be quiet now, let you just enjoy the experience. going back the opposite way. We'll kind of wander through this little side section where they have, oh, where they have the original wiring, protective wiring before this other barricade was placed here. This is a little more unnerving to be honest. I'm like treading very lightly. You can see straight down to the ground and lots of creaks and noises. Like that was a creek. The creek I'm referring to are the weird sounds this grate is making as I walk. And you'll see the wire here, this metal rope shaking to my left. It's because I'm holding on, using it just to guide me. Yeah, probably shouldn't have Gone this way. I'm not the best with, with heights. Whatever you do, don't look down. I'm telling that to myself. Oh, we're about halfway there. Give or take, about halfway. Oh. I don't even know if I should be like. Oh. Oh, that's. I hit a soft spot. There's like a soft spot right here. That piece of wood is very, I'm gonna grab onto this. You know what? I'm gonna walk on this pipe. Yeah. That's much more stable than what I was previously walking on. There's bird poop here, but I don't mind placing my hand in feces as long as gravity does not take a foothold. We're almost there. We're almost there. Thou shalt not fall. Cry, little sister. Thou shalt. Just keep singing, Adam. Just keep singing. Fall on your brother. Thou shalt not. Oh. oh, we made it. That last little leap. I thought I was safe, but then like I looked over there. Oh, that breeze feels good. Oh, that breeze feels good. Blow. It's warm out here. I will embrace any amount of wind that's blowing on my face. That's gonna do it for today. If you're new here, please subscribe by doing so. Helps keep you in the loop and up to date on future adventures, endeavors I will be going on, as well as uploads on this channel. Give this a thumbs up. If you enjoyed seeing, perusing, and meandering down and looking over and up at the real Lost Boys Bridge. Not in Northern California, not in Santa Cruz, not near the boardwalk where they filmed the majority of the rest of the movie, but here. I'm losing my balance. I just like, oh, I just a little, got a little, a little woozy there. I'll see you in the next video, the vlog is over. I don't know if it was the heights that made me delirious or the fact that I didn't bring any water. Must have electrolytes. Holy crud, the subject matter was not the only thing we have to worry about after nightfall. Look at this laundry list that are more active around sunset and overnight. 
This is a scary place. Oh, that's slightly about 20 degrees above room temperature. It's like coming out of a microwave. But I'm not complaining. Oh yeah, guess I should have checked the weather first. 106 without a cloud in the sky. Nice.